we need to determine the type of isomerism that we can see. So first of all, let's talk about what isomers are. So if you look on the left, there would be one, two, three, four, five, six carbons. On the right hand side, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that's the same. If you had to go count all the hydrogens over here, you would get 14. And if you had to go do the same over here, you would also get 14. So that is what isomers are. Isomers are molecules that have the same amount of each element, okay? But they're different. They either different based upon the different chain, different position, or different functional groups. So let's see, what is this? Is this an alcohol, carboxylic acid? Well, no, this is just an alkane. And then this one on the right is also an alkane. So because those two are the same, they have the same functional group, so it cannot be that one, okay? We're looking for something that's different. If you look at the main chain, this one is one, two, three, four, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. This one is one, two, three, four for the longest chain. So that's different. So that's the answer. This is going to be chain isomerism.